Hi there. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a new project in Web Animator. You can start a project on the welcome screen or when you're working with another project. Press Ctrl plus N, or click the new button, or click new on the toolbar. Any of the ways works and opens the new project dialog where you define the name, location, size, and the number of blank scenes of your project. There is not much to say about most fields like name and location. Regarding blank scene, it defines the number of scenes you want to initially create. But you can leave it as the default because you can always insert or delete scenes in the editor. What you should mind here are size in this responsive layout box. Width and height define the size of the container in which the document is embedded. You can specify a size or select a preset. Take note of two things. First, you can change the container size later, when you're working with the project. Second, the container size matters only when you're starting a non-responsive project. When you want a responsive one, breakpoints and layouts matter. That said, the container size still counts for a responsive project as it decides the responsive strategy, mobile first or desktop first. You can start with a small container, then work the way up, or vice versa. Start with a large container, then work the way down. It depends. So, when you want a non-responsive project, define the container size, along with other options, and click OK. Here you are. You can see the container size above the canvas and the scene size in pixels. Now move on to a responsive project. Press Ctrl plus N. Suppose that you use the desktop first approach with a large container. Select 1920 by 1080. Now select the responsive layout box and click breakpoints to define the breakpoints and layouts. Here you can add new breakpoints, update or delete any of them. Click OK and here you are. You've got a responsive project. The scene size is 100% of the container and the viewport width is set to the device width. The breakpoints and layouts are listed in the breakpoints pane. So, that's how to start a non-responsive project and a responsive one. At this point, I want to remind you one thing. Even when you did create a non-responsive project, you can always make it responsive. Set the scene size to percentages. Set the viewport width to the device width, and also the viewport height if you want. Then, click the responsive button here and add as many breakpoints as you want. So now you're done creating a new project. As you go ahead, you will have to save your project. Press Ctrl plus S, or, click Save on the toolbar. You can also save your project as a file with a different name to make a backup or just to save the project to a new location. You can also save it as a package for faster and easier sharing. At a later time, just import the package into Web Animator to edit. The last thing I want to cover in this video is how to open a project. To open a project, press Ctrl plus O and browse the project or click open project on the toolbar you can also click file on the menu bar to select a recent project on the welcome screen you can click the open project button or open a recent project from list of course you can double click the project file or package any of the ways works so that's enough for today i've shown you how to create save and open projects in web animator Thank you for watching.